Hey everyone, it's Saturday with Diversity Declusion. Um, I hope you guys have had a fantastic week. Um, so I'm actually, I'm going to do this video pretty raw, hopefully, not much editing. Um, I just woke up, as you can tell. I have absolutely no makeup on whatsoever. You can see every little imperfection. Um, my hair is a mess. I haven't even brushed my teeth yet. I hope you can't smell that. No. Um... I'm, I'm still in bed, like that's how raw this is, and I'm covered up with a blanket. Um, so, basically, uh, this week here in the States, we um, elected a new president to be sworn in on January 20th, 2009, and uh, it's Barack Obama, and I'm super excited about that. I, um, I was a supporter of Obama's before he even announced his candid candidacy. Um, and as soon as he did, I was giving him money, and I was doing what I could to get the message out. So I'm, I'm super excited. Um, I got to shake his hand at an event in the primaries over Mississippi. So super excited about him winning. Um, fantastic. Uh, after he won, the next day I was going to my car, and somebody had wrote something, like. It's it's pollen season, well, one of the many pollen seasons in Alabama. And so the back of my car's dirty and they had taken their finger and written some stuff written some stuff on my back window. Um, in reference to my Obama bumper sticker. Um, I feel like uh the LGBTQ community won um won out with Obama winning. And uh you know, it was pretty nice, it was pretty great that he actually addressed, um, he, he, he said gays in his speech Tuesday night, and I thought that was fantastic because I don't know that any other president has actually done that, um, unless they're referring to the fact that, you know, they were doing don't ask, don't tell like Clinton did, or, um, you know, maybe Bush mentioned us, but it was more of like a you can't get married type of thing. So I thought it was really great because he addressed us as equals. And so I think he's going to be a very gay-friendly president, um, which will be a fantastic thing for this country. Unfortunately, although on Tuesday, we lost out in Florida, Arkansas, Arizona, um, and California. And I actually feel rather bad because, as uh, Lorena was talking about on Monday, I, I didn't even really know about the whole um, Prop 2 in in Florida. Um, as soon as I found out, though, I called some family and friends in Florida and 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 tried to talk them into voting on no on Prop Two. And hopefully, I think they did. Um, when I I looked up a little bit about it uh, myself and, and called them, explained, and uh, they were kind of like, "Oh, wow." Um, it's a sad thing about Prop Eight passing. Um, not allowing us to get married it doesn't it takes away our civil rights takes away our basic freedoms and liberties and um that's systematic discrimination you know the government discriminates against us and people don't seem to care um now as far as my thoughts on gay marriage um you know we we hear people talk about marriage as is something from god and i'm okay if you want to talk about marriage that way but if that's your point of marriage, then the government shouldn't be involved in any way whatsoever. Um, if you believe that it's um, a sacrament like the Catholic Church does, or any sort of union that God brings together, then you shouldn't be, then the government shouldn't be involved in it. Um, but the fact that the government is involved in it, then it makes it a civil issue. Um, I'm not asking for a church to marry me or anything. I don't want to do that. I'm not going to go to the local Baptist church because I know they won't. I'm okay if they can opt out of performing um, gay marriages. Like, I, you know, if a pastor or somebody doesn't feel comfortable doing it, then I don't want them to perform my, my wedding. Um, I I kind of almost feel that um, we, should, we should do it sort of like how France does it, and I think a lot of other European countries, and that you... Um, before when you first get married you have to go to the Mary. Everyone has to go to the Mary. And it's sort of like your town hall and a civil authority marries you and you fill out all the paperwork. And then once you get married there, then if you choose to go to a church and have a priest or a pastor marry, you can do that. 
um, I feel like that might be the best thing for, you know, some, for, for some of us to do because then that actually has no effect whatsoever on, um, legal standings really. Like you can go to the Mary and get your civil union and that's everyone straight gay. Well, in France, you actually can't, gay couples can't get married. But, you know, if if we did that, then that would actually take the whole religious aspect out of it. And I think that would make people feel a lot better. And um, I think Maddie was talking about in Canada, you guys have um, um, a clause that says, you know, you can't sue churches that decide to not participate because of religious reasons. And I think that's something that we should include um, because that seems to be a lot of the problems with why um religious people don't want uh gays to get married um this is something i'm trying to tell people as far as that everyone everyone even christians should be worried about prop 8 passing simply because when prop 8 passed it proves that one group is strong enough to take away the rights of another group. And um, we know that the Mormon church heavily funded the Yes on Prop 8 campaign in California. And it should scare the shit out of everyone that a group is so powerful enough that they can throw enough money behind something and can lie and manipulate the facts enough to take away the rights of another group. Because if they can take away my rights, they can take away anyone else's rights. And I'm sure that most of us watching this channel are um, queer in some way. We're part of the queer community. But, you know, you should really talk to your straight friends about this as well. Because it, they've taken away our right. They can take away someone else's. And I think that should scare us all. Um, it, it, it was crazy. Um, I was in class Wednesday morning and you know, Prop 8 hadn't been decided by Tuesday night. and So Wednesday morning I'm sitting in class and we're actually watching a video about discrimination and, and how people were discriminated against. And, um, and I was looking up the Prop 8 measures to see if it passed and realizing it was going to fail and I started breaking down and crying. And uh, it, it was pretty interesting. And then we were talking about discrimination in another class on, Tuesday, on Thursday. And... Um, so, yeah, um, pretty interesting. Um, so this video is already like almost nine minutes long. It's kind of hard to get all those thoughts out. Um, so I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the weekend. I'm going to actually get up and uh, take a shower and watch some uh, football. Woohoo! Um, number one, Alabama is playing number 16 LSU, I think, and... I'm not really an Alabama fan. I go to school here. I'm an Auburn fan. We're having an awful sucky season. Um, so I'm kind of sort of rooting for Alabama. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Um, just because I think they're the SEC's best shot at a championship. Either them or Florida. I prefer it to be Florida over Alabama. But Alabama's the only undefeated team. Um, so you might know nothing about football. I, I love it. It's If you're born in the South, it's in your blood. Um... So yeah, I'm going to do that. But okay, sorry. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have um, a great rest of the weekend and um, a good Sunday. Enjoy your Sabbath. <laughs> I don't know if, um, uh, yeah, if you go to church or if you don't or if you do, but it's on like Friday or Saturday um, for whatever religious religion that you follow, if any. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of the week, though. And um, next week, I hope it's fantastic. And um, I will see you again next week. Bye, you guys.